Yes, guys, we're exactly two days away from the Purge Anarchy, so I thought before I review that movie, I thought, let me review the first Purge, where it all started, and hopefully see where they can do better in this sequel. You can get with this, but you can get with that. I think it's over this, because this is kind of fat. Do, da, dip it in. Come on. The Purge. So The Purge was a 2013 horror movie that came out last year, and pretty much here's the gist of the entire movie. Pretty much on one day out of the entire year, a crime is illegal. You know, murder, mayhem, all that stuff is all legal. Your boss fired you at work today? Oh, don't worry, you can kill his ass on The Purge. Oh, some asshole cut you off on your way to work, on your way home after you got fired? Don't worry, blow him up in The Purge. However, they figured that if people could release their hatred and all that on this one day out of the year it keeps the employment rate down and economy flourishing and all that good stuff the movie stars ethan hawk and lena hetty it stars those two and their family and the movie is a home invasion movie the movie wasn't bad the movie was not bad at all really but it is uh one thing that sets the movie apart is the actual concept of the film you know crime being legal and purge good the purge bad for people you know it's killing okay it's killing still killing the eyes of god you know? and if crime was legal for 12 hours would you kill somebody else just because you could do it i don't know now one thing i'm going to say about this movie is that there one of two things are going to happen while you watch the film a while you're watching the movie things are going to happen or situations are going to happen in the movie that's just going to piss you off by no means you end up screaming at your tv like you're playing the week or b after you watch the movie you're going to start thinking back on it and be like well if that happened, then wait a minute. If that happened, wait, wait, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. If that happened, why did he do Ugh! movie? So I'm not going to do a pros and cons or anything like that. I'm actually going to tell you why things in this movie are going to piss you off that you got to watch out for. So let's get into it. Let's start off with this one poor choices. The characters in this movie make such poor choices in this film that just constantly puts their family and puts their welfare in danger. Example. Now, well, Ethan Hawke's character, the dad, you know, he locks the house down for when the purge starts and everything. You know, he has this big-ass fortress of a house, and he locks it all down. And what did the son do? He sees this homeless guy, and he unlocks the house and let him come in the house. No, 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 you, do, no, you don't know that guy. That guy can be a crazy guy. You just let crazy homeless guy in our house. And he's gonna kill us all. No, oh, that was oh, that wasn't the only poor choice. Let's get into more. Daughter, her boyfriend comes down the steps. The, the dad didn't know he was in the house. He comes down the steps and he tries to kill daughter's dad. And the dad shoots him, kills him, takes the boyfriend, and goes upstairs. Like what the hell? Like she just tried to kill your dad. You don't have any brain cells. Then let's not forget about the crazy folks that get into this film. The one dude that looks like Draco Malfoy, if he was a muggle. So him and his lunatic friends wearing those happy face masks and shit, they end up breaking into the house because that's what crazy people do in horror movies like this. They break into the house and they just do crazy people shit. I will say that Ethan Hawke's character, the dad, he was smart because he had guns and shit. Like, yeah, I'm ready to. Anybody breaks in this fucking house, you kill him because... We're going to take back our house. I was, I was on dad's side. I'm like, anybody that breaks into my motherfucking house, they're getting blown away. And that's going to be that. Son making horrible choices. Daughter making even terrible choices. Uh, wife is just useless t until the end of the movie. Until the end of the movie. She did have a memorable scene at the end of the film. Pretty much Lena Henny, she pretty much breaks this other woman's face. Like, bow! Just breaks her face and it's all bloody. You're just like, hmm. That hurt. I get you ice back. So in the end, the purge is just uh, is a home invasion movie. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Uh, the movie's gonna piss you off the no ends because after you're watching it, you're gonna be like, Ugh! you're gonna be screaming at the TV like you're gonna be like that black person in movie theaters that just be like, run, bitch. What are you doing? Yeah, you're gonna be that person while you're watching the film, or at least thinking in your head like, why the fuck. Are they, ugh, I hate the kids. So in the end, I'm going to rate The Purge. The Purge is actually a good time, one time only. So if murder was legal for 12 hours, would you purge? Would you do that? Would you? And are you going to see this Purge Anarchy? If you are, comment below. Let me know. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Bang!